Question number one asks us to solve the following bits. We will start with the first bit. So, our main objective here is to make the denominator same. So, the LCM of 1 and 5 is 5. To get the denominator same as 5, we will multiply 2 with 5 in the numerator and 5 in the denominator as well. So, that will give us 10 by 5 minus 3 by 5. So, we can take the common denominator as 5. And that will give us 10 minus 3 in the numerator. So, our final answer will be 7 fifths for bit 1. Now, coming to the second bit, again, we do not have the same denominators. The denominator for 4 is 1. The LCM of 1 and 8 is 8. So, our objective here is to make the denominator for 4 also as 8. So, we will multiply it with 8 in the numerator and 8 in the denominator. And we will add it with 7 eighths. Now, 4 times 8 is 32. We take the common denominator as 8. 32 plus 7 gives us 39. So, this is the improper fraction that we have got as the answer. And if we try to convert this into mixed fraction, our answer will be 4, 7, 8. Now, coming to the third bit, we have different denominators. So, the LCM of 5 and 7 is 35. So, we'll have to make denominators 35 for both of them. So, for the first one, we'll multiply 7 to the numerator and 7 to the denominator. And for the next number, we'll multiply 5 to the numerator and 5 to the denominator. So, 5 7s are 35, 7 5s are 35. We take the common denominator as 35. 7 3s are 21 and 5 2s are 10. So, 21 plus 10 gives us the answer as 31. So, 31 over 35 is the answer for the third bit. Coming to the fourth bit, again the denominators are not same. So, our objective again will be to make the denominators same and for that we will take the LCM of 11 and 15. So, that is 165. So, by taking the LCM, we get 9 times 15 minus 4 times 11 divided by 165. So that gives us 135 minus 1 minus 44 divided by 165. And our final answer we get it as 91 divided by 165. Now we'll go on to the next set of bits. Coming to the fifth bit, we have three different fractions with three different denominators. That is 10, 5 and 2. But We'll have to take the LCM for these three and the LCM for it is 10. So, we'll keep the first fraction as it is. We'll have to make the denominator of the second fraction 10. So, for that we'll multiply numerator and denominator with 2. So, that gives us 4 by 10. For the third fraction, we'll have to multiply the numerator and denominator with 5. So, that will give us 15 by 10. We can take the common denominator as 10 and then we can simply add the numerators. Adding it will give us 26. So, we get it as 26 over 10 which is a improper fraction. And to convert into mixed fraction, we will get it as 2 3 fifths. And that is the answer for the fifth bit. Coming to the sixth bit, we have a mixed fraction which is 2 2 thirds, 3 and halves. So, we'll first convert them into improper fractions and so we get it as 8 over 3 plus 7 over 2. So, we've got two fractions with different denominators. We'll try to make them same. So, the LCM of 3 and 2 is 6. So, to get the denominator 6 for the first fraction, we'll have to multiply both numerator and denominator with 2. We get it as 16 by 6. For the second fraction, we'll multiply numerator and denominator with 3 to get the denominator as 6. So, we'll get that as 21 over 6. So, keeping the denominator same, we add the numerators. So, we get it as 37 over 6, which is again an improper fraction. And to convert into two mixed fraction, we'll get the answer as 6, 1, 6. Coming to the last bit of this question, that is the seventh bit, we again have mixed fractions, we'll convert them into improper fractions first and so we get them as 17 over 2 that we have got it by multiplying 2 and 8 and getting 
the numerator by adding 1 to the product of 2 and 8. So that gives us 17 by 2. Similarly, 8 3s are 24. 24 plus 5 will give us 29. So 29 by 8. Now, we'll take the LCM of 2 and 8. Or instead of taking the LCM, what we can take is, we can make the denominator same for both of them by making the denominator of the first fraction to be 8. So we'll get it as 68 minus 29 divided by 8. On simplification, we get the answer as 39 over 8, which is an improper fraction. And if we convert, in, convert it into mixed fraction, we'll get the answer as 4 7 8 and this is how we solve these problems. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.